tools to actually uh, start fights. And speaking of engage, uh, Mad Lions are going to round their comp out with the Orn. Very strong tool. We've been hearing a lot of pros. The jungle support stepping in, trying to get some vision down, is something we've seen for the last few years of League of Legends. Also something Mickey and Yankos did a lot of last year. Arome struggling once again under the pressure, but now Shadow sees his opportunity. Call of the Forge, God. Wonder flashes away from it, and now Wonder perhaps looking to dive the towers. Pop the world ender, but the Ignite is ticking. Orome flashes in, lands the Brittle, and there is the first kill of the decade in the LEC. There's the second! Mad Lions ripping through G2. They find two quick kills. Yankos wants to try and answer back, though. Yankos coming in, but Kazi, look at the damage you get! The crescendo just shipping, shredding through caps. Yankos coming in with the cocoon, but Kaiser is there to body block. Yankos gonna try and get away, but he can't escape. 3 nil Mad Lions! And this is the it. Chakrams on your crescendo as well, so you pop that Q, you get a bunch of shurikens available to you. Yep and then you just run your opponent down. Remember, the closer you are, the more Chakrams you get coming back to you as well. So, well played by the Mad Duo. They're able to find two kills. They're even able to get that kill onto the jungler, but now G2 on revenge. One more, that's a concussive blow. Look at the damage coming out of the Glacial Fisher. Get a Felios. Just get a Felios. That okay. was the perfect combination of the Crescendum turret with the Calibrum this time round. So, the thing about the turret is it applies the effects of your offhand, which means that he had full range. Yep. That meant that the turret hit Mickey two or three times. This gave him a max range crescendum auto, but the action's not over yet, man. Wonder doesn't have flash. He's going to be knocked up against the wall. The alcove kicks him back, and Shadow should be able to secure the kill pretty easily here. It's 5-0 to Mad Lions. To Arome, but Arome, one of the few Mad Lions players with experience on the LEC stage. However, here comes Perks trying to catch our Humanoid. That's Grass going to pull him back. He's in the realm of death right now. Perks flashes away. Humanoid looking to get away as well, but the cocoon's gonna land onto Shadow towards the top side. Humanoid low down towards the bottom. Shadow able to get away. Humanoid should be done for. Healing up for an absolute massive amount of health. But in the end, oh, yeah. you've got a Felios. You've got the Lee Sing kick. Very good at disrupting these fights. And oh, look at the top lane. We see a bit of action yeah, happening. The flash going. is gonna be used by Humanoid. Humanoid's just caught under the tower. Dawning Shadow comes out. There's nothing you can do about that. G2 with a good reaction play, knowing that Mad Lions were down towards the bottom side. They need to be proactive to get back into this game. Of course, Mad not slowing down. They will answer by pushing in the mid tower and the bot. Here comes Wonder oh, on the play. Wonder's on the side, but Kazi flashes forward. Now this is where you see the power of Aphelios. Still doing damage. Wonder manages to try him down and gets away. Kaiser. Get a bit more gold onto Perks. They'll get a big shutdown onto Kazi, burn both of his summoner spells, and they'll relieve some of the pressure that Mad has been putting down in this early game. And you can see Shadow, this is just way too far forward. Dev Shot's gonna connect, and Yankos actually kicked that great flash from Shadow. Romain's gonna open up with Call of Forge God, and now Mickey trying to get away. Kaiser's still stepping forward, they're gonna knock him up. There's the concussive blows for a successive stun, and Shadow is on his around the corner. Kaiser is just trying to act as a bouncer. Yankos gets it in the smite fight, then goes up in the repel, jumps onto Shadow, but Yankos is double flashes to make sure he picks up the Rift held, and he will be able to use that as soon as he respawns. So, I think this is a pretty worthwhile trade for G2 overall. Yes, it does cost Yankos his flash, but they can use that Rift held to set up for a mid lane tower because they're going to secure the bot lanes, just less terrain. Makes oh, a lot. Oh, Perks flashes. flashes in, gets a double knock over Carlton. Wow. Done! It was a little bit of a stutter step there by Perks, but he was able to get the kill, and here comes Wonder from the side. Humanoid in the realm of death will be done for pretty soon. Perks secures it. He still did not have his flash from that earlier play. Remember when the flank happened from yep. Wonder? Due to the Infernal Dragon Soul. Of course, Inferno giving you percentage AD and AP. Mad Lion's going to try and contest this. The Dragon does go down. Here comes the Call of the Forge God. Looking for Yankos down towards the bottom side. Caps is there as well. Shadow has the flank. It's a 3v4 at the moment, but here is Humanoid. Teleported in. Rips back Mickey into the middle of the fight. And Yankos and Caps are running for the hills up towards the top. A kill over to, to the Valios. It's a Valios. And he's, <laughs> he's gone. He's not there anymore. Caps flashes across the walls. Get away from Arome. But the Sonic Wave connects, and you have to feel Shadow will be on the chase as soon as he has. Just that little bit more energy, but there's the last embrace. Ooh, and nice side step. Them up, dodges away from the Glacial Fisher between these two teams, and Wonder's trying to even out just a little bit more. The Infernal Chariots will pull back Humanoid. The Death Realm Who's is trapped there, in here with Mickey. 
And one does still have a chase, neither of them really doing too much to the other, but there is the Dawning Shadow, and there goes Humanoid, another kill to Wonder. He's got watch available to her, uh, often we do see, ooh, might see another fight right now. Yeah, Wonder stepping forward, the concussive blow is two procs in, there's the third, Mickey coming from the side as well, Call of the Forge God comes out, it's gonna land on Mickey and Caps, maybe the chase is gonna continue, Kazi with a Moonlight Vigil lands it from long range, but it's only the seven, he just gains health from that, will be able to take out Mickey, but not as Infernal in this game, so it's quite strong. It is the Infernal as well, so it gives you a lot of extra damage, here's the fight from Perks. Pops the supreme display of talent, but only lands on Humanoid. And now the fight is really going to begin. The Dawning Shadow coming out. There's the call of the Forge God. Kaz, uh, Kazi and Kaiser fighting off towards the top side. Caps putting down a lot of damage. Last embrace is not going to land. Perks still on the flank position. G2 trying to pinch them in on Mad Lions here. Trying to catch them like cats in a trap. A Humanoid going forward. The Infernal Chain is going to come out. But Yakus is already down. Kazi is going to have the death charge on him. There was one down as well as Humanoid has fallen. 4v4. Wonder going forward. G2 have felt the pain of an Aatrox in this river before. And they're trying to put it down. Down on Mad Lions, Perks jumping up to the back line. Kazi's still alive, but now he's shut down. It's Kaus to take it. He gets one, he gets two, and he's looking for more. Perks on the chase takes another, and G2 will wipe Mad Lions in the river. Fantastic patience from Perks. He was waiting for that moment to kill Kazi. He knows that with Kazi... He isn't going to do it too quickly, and here's the TV. Humanoid hasn't had the best of games. Only did 500 damage in the last fight, but he's looking for Mickey. Jumps in, Death Realm onto Perks. Humanoid might just die straight away. He's got the shield though, and Perks is taking down. The Baron has fallen. Humanoid's still looking for the kill. Gets one. That's one Baron down. Aroma coming in as well. You can see Kazi's on the chase. The mistakes end up getting punished. Man now starting to group up. They want to try and force fights. Kaiser on the front line. Pops the unbreakable. Aroma looking for the call of the Forge God. Doesn't land on anyone. The oh! Morning Shadow. Wonders on a rampage. Kazi trying to do what he can with the Moonlight Vigil. He shut down Wonder, but there's the stun from the side. Perks once again finds the flag. Aroma chased out by Yankos. He sinks in his fangs and gets another kill. Humanoid comes out of the realm of death just to go back to the fountain and G2 are just dismantling Mad Lions. The mid AD carry duo are doing some serious damage in these fights. Caps, his positioning is flawless. He's taking advantage of his range. He is one-shotting these carries and there is little that Mad can do. They have put up a valiant fight. They have been able to find some great opportunities and Kazi, I feel like he showcased a lot of great things yeah. in this first game but what can you do when people are diving on top of you? Like, Braum got a obliterated by this center ultimate before he could really offer much to his team and now G2 they're on the next they're looking to end the game. Kaiser trying to act as one final stand but he's not going to be able to do too much. G2 G2 what you're going to do when they come for you well right now it looks like oh actually uses the Bellows breath to get away. Kaiser though still on the front line locked up with the last in breath. Mickey perhaps a little bit overextended here he's going to fall first but the call of the portrait coming out. Wonder pops the stopwatch to get away from it. Perhaps G2 have delved a little bit too greedily the last embrace will this will be the third infernal as you said Bettius. Doesn't really have too much damage yet, but now this is a great flank position. Kaiser's gonna step forward for the curse of the black mist doing a lot of work here. Wonder trying to get in. Perks on Kazi. Oh, he's gone. Goodbye. Wave goodbye to any hopes of winning this team fight as well, Mad Lions. Because you may have stuck together like a pride, but there was no pride in the way that fight went. G2 just shred through them once again. Yankos going to chase down a Rome. Rome, of course, has the exhaust from the unsealed spell, but, but Caps is on his way as well. Extra movement speed from that Curse of the Black Mist, and Arome is going nowhere. Both Perks and Wonder are pushing in the base. G2 looking for kills, as they always have done. And with the Nexus in their sights, G2 will record the first win of the LEC here in 2020. They had winning ways in 2019, and I'm sure they'll want to continue of it. Course and they have Phantom Diving fun. Ways last year as well. There aren't even the minions going to take this. In the end, Wonder secures it. G2, 1-0 in the LEC.